Hey folks, Chris here with the 4K release of Christopher Nolan's latest epic, Oppenheimer. Based on the true story of physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, who works on a top secret Manhattan project, with a team of scientists for years developing and designing the first atomic bomb, a spectacular film with top-notch performances by Killian Murphy, Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon, and the rest of the cast, including Emily Blunt, and a lot of other familiar faces in this. And as you can see, my 4K copy showed up with all the swag, including the original motion picture soundtrack on vinyl, plus a book on the making of the film called Unleashing Oppenheimer, as well as the popular book American Prometheus, The Truth and Tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the book that inspired the motion picture. And of course, I had to pick up the steelbook release as well. Regarding the presentation, this movie was shot in 35 and 65 millimeter for the IMAX scenes, and I'm pleased to say the IMAX scenes are included here which looks absolutely amazing with razor sharp detail, deep inky black clothes, and lifelike colors. There's so much depth throughout the film, especially during the daytime scenes out in the desert. Sure, there are some light moments of softness during the non-IMAX scenes, but it's so minor that I won't even lower my rating on. This is a pristine presentation, and fans of the film are going to be pleased. For the audio, we get the details 5.1, which is a crisp and clear, nicely detailed mix for this dialogue-driven film. It's not immersive like an Atmos, but it gives quite a rumble during the explosion of the bomb. Nolan knocked it out of the park once again, not just in terms of bringing this fascinating story to life, but the presentation as well. Which is why I'm rating both the picture and sound a solid 5 out of a 5. For bonus content, get plenty of in-depth behind-the-scenes features with interviews with the cast and crew, including Christopher Nolan called The Story of Our Time, The Making of Oppenheimer plus trailers, innovations in film, 65mm black and white film in Oppenheimer, plus uh, Meet the Press, a Q&A panel, and to end all war, Oppenheimer and the Atomic Bomb. So as I close it out, Nolan's latest epic is a fascinating story with great performances and beautiful cinematography. Sure, it's a long movie clocking in at 3 hours, but it's definitely worth the time. See you folks in the next one. We imagine a future, and our imaginings horrify us. They won't fear it until they understand it. And they won't understand it. until they've used it. Theory will take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. Yeah.